Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. In today's video, I'm gonna be making some delicious sausage stuffed mushrooms. Now these mushrooms can be served as an appetizer, you can serve them to your friends and family at your next party, and you can make a meal out of them with a delicious salad on the side. Now before we get started, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, tap on that little notification bell so you can get a notification with all my upcoming videos, Send me a comment if you have one and share with your friends. Let's get started. I'm going to start by brushing my mushrooms clean with this brush. I want to remove any clods of dirt or other debris that is clinging on. Now this is the best dry cleaning method. Mushrooms are delicious, meaty and juicy and they'll make a mushroom lover out of anyone. I'm going to continue doing the same to the rest of my mushrooms. Now you want to remove the stems off the mushrooms. You want to have a good grip, pull it towards you, and it should snap right off, just like that. And this will give you the perfect pocket to stuff. Pull it towards you and snap it right off. The stems are edible. You may want to keep them for future use. When making stuffed mushrooms, you might want to scrape the inside just to make it easier to stuff them. I like to use a teaspoon and scrape the underside of the mushroom with the edge of the spoon and I continue scraping the underside of the mushroom until it looks just like this one. And that is going to give us the perfect pocket to fill. So I'm going to continue doing the same process to all my mushrooms. I've got half a pound of lean Italian sausage and I'm going to brown it in my cast iron skillet. But first I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil and I've got my heat set on medium. I'm going to go ahead and add my sausage to my skillet and with two wooden spoons I'm going to break it up into small pieces as it cooks, just like this. Now if you don't want to use sausage, you can use any other meat that you like, like ground chicken or ground turkey or ground beef or any other filling that you choose. Now I'm getting ready to add my next ingredients. My sausage still has a little pink in it, but that's okay because it's going to continue cooking through the process. I'm going to start by adding one fourth cup of chopped onions. I'm going to add two chopped green onions, the white and the green part. I'm going to add one third cup of chopped mushroom stems. One fourth cup of chopped orange bell pepper. And I'm going to bring it in together like this. Now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and I'm going to go ahead and add some pepper. You can add as much as you want. Now I'm going to add some chopped parsley. I just think it gives it a beautiful color. It looks so nice and bright. I'm going to go ahead and bring it all in together like this. Now I'm going to add some pepper flakes. Now these are optional. You can leave them out if you want, but I just think it gives it a very nice kick. Now I'm going to add some salt, but not too much because I am going to be adding some cheese. Now I've made a little well in the center of my skillet and I'm going to add my minced garlic. I'm going to be moving it around for about one minute. Now you don't want to burn your garlic, so just keep an eye on it. Now I have removed all my meat mixture out of the skillet and I've added it to this bowl. I'm going to go ahead and add 4 ounces of room temperature cream cheese. Now you want to make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature because it'll be just so much easier to mix together, just like this. So now that everything is nice and creamy, I'm going to go ahead and add some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Now I'm just going to fold it in together, just like this. And now I am ready to stuff my mushrooms. And so here they are, nice and clean and ready to go. Now I've got some olive oil here, and with my pastry brush, I'm going to brush them with some olive oil on the outside. Now this is going to give them a beautiful golden color when they come out of the oven. And I'm going to continue doing this to all my mushrooms. 
Now I'm gonna be using my cast iron brazier. I've already put in two tablespoons of olive oil and it's ready to go. Now my mushrooms are ready and I'm gonna fill them with my stuffing, just like this. I'm gonna be very careful not to break them because they're very delicate. So I'm gonna push it in like this gently. Now I've got some panko breadcrumbs right here. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some on top and I'm gonna push them down very gently like that. These are gonna be nice and crispy and golden brown. Now here I have some freshly grated Monterey Jack cheese. You can use any cheese you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit on top as a little topper like that and put them into my dish. And I'm gonna continue the same process on all my mushrooms, just like this. So here are all my mushrooms, all stuffed and ready to be baked. And my brazier is full. I've got my oven set at 400 degrees and I'm gonna bake them for 20 minutes. Now I will be setting my heat on broil the last five minutes. And so here they are with a beautiful golden top. They are still sizzling, very hot, but it smells delicious in here. So these are my sausage stuffed mushrooms. They are still hot, but not that hot. Mmm. Oh my gosh. These are beautiful and delicious. Mmm. I hope you like my video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Send me a comment. Thank you.